Hey guys, welcome back to Warhammer 40k Road Trader. So, we are going to go and check the shops again. Uh, yeah, let's go here. Check this one. Uh, Lance weapon is something we want, so we can pick that up already. No, we already have that. Okay. And then torpedo tubes. Hmm. Interesting. So Voss pattern torpedo tubes here. Uh, the void shield array prototype is worse. Short range prow mounted macro cannons which fire four shots dealing 14 damage per shot. Hmm, okay. Take that, and we'll take that. Consumables? Okay. Uh, let's see. Is there anything? Nope. Necron Trophy, so we can't upgrade that yet. Xeno Artifacts, alright. Well, in that case, uh, let's see, can we upgrade anything here now? We can get another 3,050. What do we get at level 4? Power Claimer, Heavy Bolter. Okay, yeah, I think we'll take that. selection uh, they don't want range weaponry okay uh, right so let's hide untradeable for now we select everything 3050 so that takes us to 16,000 We'll probably take off a few things. I'll take off holy gifts. Fuel. 2,400. No, we need the holy gifts. Gives 500, okay. Let's do that. And no, we can't get the heavy bolter or the power claymore. But that's fine. We're getting closer. What does Opticon have? Mobile Extractium. Don't have the, the uh, profit factor for that either. Guessing we don't have the profit factor for many of these things. So that's fine. Can't really do too much else at the moment. Uh, we will have a look at the ship. Okay, Mazoa Lance weapons, so which one? Prow? Yeah, let's get rid of... I don't really like the torpedoes, so let's get the two Lance weapons. Or we can try the Prow battery. 14 damage per shot. If they all hit, that's 56 damage. Uh, I think we'll just go with the two Mazoa Lance weapons for now. Alright. And I guess... I think that's it for now, isn't it? Nothing on the ship. Return to the governor. Wait for the situation to resolve itself. Save the Eldari survivors. Forgotten twins. Okay. Tenebris, Aqua, and Odonathus. Okay. A new ruler. That's not really anything we can do right now. We do have stuff to do in the Forgotten Twin system. Hunger's Hand. I guess we're doing Hunger's Hand now. This is... Cranach and Mundus Valencius.
Okay, so we're just going to go back onto the the system map and head back to Janus to talk to the oh, explored already explored. Okay, so we're going to go talk to Governor Viat. Uh, this is good enough for now, I think. Uh, I don't mind our two sniper setup at the moment, so I think I'm okay with that. Uh, let's might have a look down here just to see what's what's over there. Okay, yeah. Got a bit confused with the camera angle there, but it's fine. Okay, doesn't look like there's anything too much over here. Lore Imperium. The chapel is built out of luxurious materials, but the holy place looks half abandoned. You cannot smell any burnt incense in the air. You see no seals of cleansing on the doors and you hear no prayers, no human voices or vox recordings. Okay. Looks like we've more or less explored everything here. Is there anything oh, down there? Don't you trust me? Exploring. Okay, there's something. Argo. I need no farseer to guide my future. Medicaid check. There's goods too. Okay. Chains or ropes with shackles on the end can be seen in the water. Something white is also visible through the glimmer. A fragment of bone with marks made by sharp teeth. Okay. Chartist pendant. If the wearer has dogmatic adherent or above, their law imperium will depend on fellowship instead of intelligence. Seems decent for the bunch of checks. Okay. Now, just going to see if there's anything else over this side, which I don't think there is. Alright, so I guess we're going to talk to the governor now, to see what she has to say. Okay, that cogitator does nothing apparently. Okay, Janus Noble. I don't think there's anything else here, so let's just go up and try and have a chat with... Through here or through here? Lord Von Valencius, we are most delighted to welcome you as our guest. Would your lordship prefer to speak to the governor alone or with your entourage? Uh, my entourage will accompany me in my meeting. Greetings, your lordship. How may I be of assistance? You neglected to mention the strange changes in the planet's flora and fauna. Magos Vinzelex is a w very wise man, but his fixation on evolutionary processes seems a little extreme to me. Janus was heavily cultivated, forests were cleared and mountains raised across half of the planet. It is no surprise that we are still noticing the consequences of those changes. It's possible that the plant mutations are connected to waste runoff from the harvesting equipment and the changes in wildlife behavior could be a reaction to the expansion of the cultivated area. Vistenza shakes her head with a laugh. Are you surprised by my knowledge of the topic? Our whole dynasty has dedicated itself to taming Janus, this plentiful yet stubborn planet. Every member of the Viat bloodline is versed in the fundamentals of planetary engineering and its consequences. Rumors have reached me about oddities among Janus's population. I don't deny it, some of our experiments exact a higher toll on the population than others. 
You see, recently one of the noble families of Janus has taken on the difficult task of enhancing the attributes of our workers. So far, it has involved introducing experimental supplements to their food and mental conditioning in monitored settlements. Sometimes the procedures are disrupted and part of the population suffers from side effects. The specialists of the Gravaz family would be better placed to inform you on this topic, but alas, they are currently engaged in the field. How refreshingly novel. The rich treating the common folk like dirt and coating it all with the best intentions. Jay's usual honeyed voice now grates like rusted metal. Uh, the tech priest mentioned ancient ruins belonging to the Xenos. I know to what you're referring. Strange structures of an unknown material for the prevention of any unfortunate accidents. I ordered the area to be declared out of bounds for all. Some things are better off left under a thick layer of dirt beyond the grasp of even the enlightened minds of the Adeptus Mechanicus. Okay. I found the Rebel's Nest, Vistenza. Have you really, your lordship? And what have you learned? Uh, let's not waste time on meaningless chatter, Vistenza. You are a servant of the Arch Enemy. What? No. You have woven your web of deceit in vain. You can no longer hide behind the veil of ignorance. Stooge has seen the evidence of your deeds, heard the cries of the tormented Lilithan, walked amidst the decay that you brought to the maiden world. Enough of your lies, chaos wretch. Iliot, how dare you, you filthy vermin. I'll ha I will have you flayed for that outburst. The Lordship, what is going on? The colors are darting to and fro like startled shadows. The colors know, know that they are the veil that stands between the soul and the truth. If the veil falls, all will turn red and purple. Even now, I can already see the muted purple seeping through. Heretical. Persuasion, 80%. Coercion, 65%. Let's try Persuasion. Vistenza clenches her teeth so hard you hear a crack. I, daughter of House of Ayat, governor of Janus and citizen of the Imperium, serve no one other than the Emperor and the Von Valancius dynasty. And what, what you are accusing me of is merely a tool at my disposal, a tool that I have the power and courage to use. Do you think ordinary methods would have been enough to tame this demented planet? No. My family struggled for decades to subdue Janus once and for all, and it was all in vain. But loyal servants of those families who have resided on Janus for centuries helped me to unlock a new source of power. Ancient knowledge secretly passed down from generation to generation, accessible to a select few, and which grants power over nature itself. How could I reject it? How could I undo all the work of my predecessors who were entrusted with it? Janus, who faithfully served the Von Valancius dynasty, and who with a madman's obsessiveness hewed this rock into a stunning diamond. Two days spent among the initiator was enough for me to start hearing the voices of angels in my ears, angels who gifted me the keys to conquering this world. And before you offend my ears with more accusations or moral admonitions, remember who has dutifully served your dynasty all these years. Remember who has devoted her life to turning Janus into the primary source of wealth in your protectorate. Remember to whom your predecessor entrusted one of her most valuable worlds. Without fear of treachery or conspiracy. Without me, without my service, my sacrifice, Janus would be nothing. Behold, proof of why knowledge must remain in the hands of the worthy. Many lay people are capable of possessing it, but a wise mind that is not bound by oaths of obedience to the Omnisci is vulnerable to corruption and free thinking, even more vulnerable than the mind of an ignorant commoner. What more proof do you need, Elantar? The monkey has confessed to her handiwork. Uh, Theodora knew about your inclination. Uh, you are not saving Janus or improving at Vistenza. You are destroying this world with your own hands. Forgive me for what I am about to say, your lordship, but you're lying. I'm not blind. I can see how Janus is changing, how it is becoming tamer, more submissive to the will of humanity. 
the will of humanity or the will of the ruinous powers. Vistenza, you are a strong ruler with exceptional aptitude and a talent for making people see things only as you wish. Have you never considered the possibility that someone could do the same to you? I, I, Vistenza falls silent and then cries out suddenly falling to her knees. You see a bloody stain seeping along her back. Traitor, the prince saw your treachery. You can die along with the traitor Vistenza. Okay. I have traveled far darker paths. Get use. We'll save it here and then we'll chase after. Mm. Oh, pistol, okay. Disarm, okay. So shall it be. And we'll disarm this trap. As it should be. Okay, now can we disarm this demolition? Yes, we can. All right, nice. So let's open this door and see what surprise lays behind here. Intoxicated noble, okay, corrupted noble. Probably want to go around the back. Tome of Excess grants plus 10 Law Warp, but the wielder suffers Law Warp more damage from Psychic and Navigator powers. Okay. Probably not really a great item to, to be uh, equipping. Secret Chambers Guard, Maid of Honor, and a demon, and some demonettes. Okay, a couple. Hundred and twenty-two, fifty-one armor, dodge ninety. Okay, War Creature. Immunity to perils of the war. Hmm, does that mean Cassia's navigator powers don't work on her? Oh, her lidless stare anyway. I guess we'll find out. Hmm, now let's save it here and then we'll trigger the fight. And I think we can have snipers at these corners to just shoot down there. And then, yeah, they'll we can have any melee guys funnel through down here into the firing lane so I guess we'll go with that I don't want you earlier at the front probably don't want stooge at the front either so let's go with this uh, setup and then yeah, go from there how many foes have you Elantuck you dare cross the faithful mm. okay. stooge Cassia Eliot, Abelard, uh, I guess Abelard can go, go here, 
Uh, Cassia can go here. Jay can be a bit further back, as can Pascal. And then we'll move Pascal up as Abelard moves forward, I think. So that'll be... I think that's the best way to go about it. Uh, let's go with... Did want to give an extra turn to uh, let's go Stooge classic as always just go like that uh, maid of honor okay. put an opening on we put in the perfect spot and then we shoot her. I think we want to take out the maid of honor first and when we can get take aim on either on either stooge or Elliot we'll take out the demonettes. The 90% dodge is kind of nasty though so have to Hopefully that's not too big of an issue. Okay, now we can... Should be able to drag them all into here? Yep. Drag some of them anyway. Maid of Honor. Can we hit... No, we can't hit all of them, but... Hitting three here would be Do I want to hit them? Uh actually yeah we do I think. Let's do the damage. Okay. We will go with Voice of Command on Stooge. And we will go with Notch of Purpose here. Hopefully hit both of them. Nice. 10 damage. Not too bad. And we can go rear. That's actually really nice. Okay, now we will do take aim. And an extra turn. Okay, now we will go for that demonette over there. Ninety-five percent. Let's go. Don't miss. Nice. Okay, and now still ninety-five percent. Okay. Right, good damage on the demonet. About half HP, which is nice. And now we want. Where do we want to put frontline? Frontline. Frontline can go there, I, can I suppose. With the right incentive. Uh, voice of command on. You've Both got a problem. Abelard, I guess. I've got a prize. Manifestation. Okay. Let's see. She has ninety five per cent on the demonette. So we'll go. Perfect if it spot. Your cause. Uh, bounty on the demonet. <laughs> we can do this, I think. Yeah, we'll dead eye shot the demonet. <sighs> if I must. My soul. 
and now we will claim the bounty. Hopefully this works. No, not quite. That's a bit unfortunate, but we got some over penetration which hits the guard behind. Maybe I should put I exploits on. Intent. Oh well. That was poorly played again, I think. Uh, now we can put a trap down there. Let's go tactical knowledge. Joint analysis. And we can... Can't reach, can't reach. We can try and blow up the demon it. Just apply that. Okay, fine. Okay, that. Okay, that chamber guard went did not. That's nasty. Inti. Corrupted noble. Cassie is in a bit of trouble. Okay. And you are. Sworn At enemy. Defensive stance. Let's walk here and we will, I will do my hit duty. this demon it. Demon it had surprisingly uh, long range for movement. Okay. So, put an opening on the demon it. Analyze. Ooh. I'm gonna hit Abelard. But we could get a double kill. Let's see what happens. I do want to free up Cassia. Ooh. Missed there, but we got a crit on the demon it and a crit on Abelard, unfortunately. Pain and duty go 18. Hand in hand. Did it hit the Maid of Honor? Yeah, it did. Four damage, okay. I need to not line up like that in the future. That's really dumb. But I didn't think we'd get that much. Uh, that much penetration, over penetration actually. So we can't use this. I will give Stooge an extra turn. Maybe I should have done it for Elliot. That was, yeah, that was not good. But let's see. Okay, let's put exploits on the Maid of Honor. We might be able to get a double kill. Maid of Honor goes down. Demon it should go down. Okay. Or not. At least Abelard didn't take any damage that time. Ah, uh, she can't use her powers. Something? Seems she can. Let's do that. Hopefully it moves the demon it. Okay, hopefully this moves the demon it. Never mind. None of that is moving the demon it. <laughs> okay, so Jay can give Elliot take aim and another turn. bounty on this demonet and let's claim the bounty nice uh, secret chambers guard lieutenant guard let's take this guy out let's 
Now, what do we want to do in my sights? Yeah, let's do in my sights on if this it guy. Your course. And Chassia can get this? voice of command. Okay, the lieutenant moves. That's maybe not so great. Ooh, stun grenades. And run and gun. Yikes, it destroyed the cover. Okay. Put the trap on that guy there. Tactical knowledge. Yep, there are only four guys, just checking to make sure. Uh, joint analysis. Hunt down the prey. Corrupted Noble. Put the prey on the Lieutenant. And let's go with overcharge area attack. Trigger the snare. Abelard. Okay, endure. Offensive stance, obviously. We will charge in. Yep. And then taunting screen. Yeah, it will still be done. only hits two guys, but that's fine. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. Get some parries out there. Did he just heal? What the heck? Okay, do we get over penetration on this one? Seems like we do. Ah, uh, what if we go like that? Okay. Hmm. Very interesting. Could eliminate two of them if we hit. We can go after the lieutenant or lieutenant. I guess we're going after the lieutenant because Abelard should be able to take care of these guys. He's already got an opening, which is good. So let's go with analyze enemies and then we will just try to pop him. Really? Two? Okay. Well, just finish the job then. Or not. Or not. We're going down the XCOM route of just missing all the 95% shots. Alright, let's do this. See if we can drag them all out. Dead. Kill, kill. Oh. Yep, okay. See if we can get this guy out of there. Try to die with grace at yep. least. Perfect. So let's go with Can we pass? Nope. Okay. It's overexerted, so let's go with Stooge. And let's just pop this guy. See ya. Not quite. Never mind. We didn't do finest hour. I'll That's paint your fine. death in colours. There we go. Elliot lowers her weapon, but her shoulders remain tense. She finally catches her breath, shaking her hair out of her face in a fluid motion, and looks at you. You have done your duty, Ellen Tark. From now on, the Lilithan has hope for the future. A future without sullen thresh and her followers. 
This world has yet to be cleansed, but there is a time for everything. Now is the time to thank you. Uh, so the heretic is dead. Now what? I hope that's the last I'll hear about cultists on Janus. You are hoping in vain. The seeds these spawn leave behind may sprout in a hundred years. In other people and other deeds, I pray that I am wrong. She turns her gaze on you. What, be, what about you, Ellen Tuck? Will you return to the skies, to the blackness amid the, amidst the stars? To seek a way through the gloom and tread the paths of more and more new worlds? Will we ever meet again? I hear you ending in your words. Why don't you come with me on my travels? I could use a good markswoman. Elliot straightens up to a full height. Go with you? She purses her lips, considering something. Perhaps... Perhaps that way I could search for traces of my kin who survived the destruction of our world, or even find out the cause of their deaths. O oh, Shireen, I pray to the Exalted One that your good heart is not broken by the black ungratefulness of those you welcome into your retinue. My only consolation is that this Xenos is still a little different from the damned scum that plagued humanity in the Coronas Expanse. Well, Ellen Tuck, since your will supersedes human laws on, on Xenos, and I will face no reprisals while I am by your side, I accept your offer. Perfect. Okay. So, Secret Chamber's Guard. Bolter. Maid of Honor, what did she have on her? Sinister Diary. Uh, 20% 20 bonus to law warp and a 10 penalty to willpower resistance tests. Okay. M40 auto gun, knife, flak armor. Okay. Demonettes obviously have no gear. Melee weaponry provisions. Okay. Is there anything else in here? Yeah, there's some loot there. There's some loot here. Let's go check out the loot over I here. The path last traveled. Okay, more provisions. That's cool. I'm fine with that. I wonder if Vistenza knew about all this stuff back here. It seemed like she didn't realize she was affected by... Or she was being influenced by chaos, so... Over there. I wonder what exactly she knew about what was going on. Heretic trophies. And more of the same, okay. Where's the trap? Okay, there's the trap there. Alright, let's save it. Don't want to have to fight again. Tech use. Okay, Mechanicus Creations, Xeno Artifacts, Artifacts, Jewelry, Provisions, Uniform Kit, okay. Litany of Reconnaissance Recited. Uh, okay, what are these goods? Ophelius Delanor, Notes on the Nature of Aristocracy. To be an aristocrat is to exist in a higher state of being. Okay, not sure I want to read all that, but that's fine. Power grits, 10 to strength. That's pretty good. Holy gifts, jewelry. Okay. Uh, what did we did this say? Return to the ship. The Vox Master is awaiting orders regarding the fate of this world. Okay. Not sure what the options are going to be or whether we can even save Janus now that we've taken out the leader and purged the chaos. But I think we are mostly done with this. Uh, okay. Marching on. 
question is Atilius Quinn. Okay, the secretary is shaking in terror, looking around at the devastation. Yeah, your lordship, what happened? Where is Lady Viat? The secretary stares at Elliot in horror. His face twists, but he cannot seem to get a single word out. Janus was under two distinct threats. The corruption of chaos in the form of Vistenza Viat and her associate, and the Xenos who had manipulated the servants in, of the Imperium. I dealt with them both. Heresy? Xenos? The secretary makes a protective gesture in the air. God Emperor preserve us. Your Lordship, you have surely saved us from our doom. We will immediately begin scouring the planet to root out any re remaining conspirators and traitors. The secretary begins to speak but thinks better of it, instead choosing to step aside and bow his head as you pass. Okay, so we need a new ruler here though, so I don't know what's... I don't want to blow up the planet or anything like that, so... Servants. State Warden. What happened to the Governor, Your Lordship? Okay. Is there something else over there? Doesn't look like it's completely explored. Funnily enough. Let's see if we can see anything. Okay, and then Biff, this is just is a passageway, Emperor's right? Yep, yeah, yeah, seems like it. Alright, so that's fine. I guess there's either there's nothing there or we failed any perception checks to see to see if there was any uh, uh, to see if there was any secret passageway. Uh, let's talk to the tech priest guy over here. He's not over here anymore, okay. Tillis Quint is still down there, though. That's very interesting. Whatever you wish. Okay, let's save it here. Talk to Quint. Your Lordship, speaking with you is always an honour. Okay, never mind. He has nothing to say. That's new. And it looks like we've done everything we need to. So, if it pleases you, going Shady? back onto the void ship to decide what to do with the planet. Hopefully, we can save the planet and actually, you know, work on getting it all done properly I suppose uh, we now have control over the granaries of Janus the promise of help given to the leisure of footfall of Ladame Takara can now be fulfilled should the road trader so desire hmm okay we are playing Iconoclast so let's send the provisions profit factor 5 Iconoclast 15 the inhabitants of Footfall Station will praise the rogue trader who spared them the painful choice between starvation and succumbing to the reign of Incendia Quarter. To welcome the new rogue trader, the Adeptus Mechanicus's planetary office brought to the ship an offering of several versatile macro combines, ancient machines whose carcasses have been found on Janus and carefully restored. The sacred steel titans will serve the Von Valantis dynasty. Nice, we were starting to run a bit low. Okay, restore shipments from Janus. Only certain worlds, usually the most habitable, are suitable for establishing thriving colonies right for development. Completing projects and colony events can earn the rogue trader unique rewards that cannot be obtained through any other means. Projects are the backbone of colony development. Completing them requires resources that can be obtained by exploring planets and cosmic anomalies. Completing a project takes time. While you continue to travel throughout the Coronis Expanse, you will receive a notification on the screen when a project is finished, informing you that the reward can now be claimed. Okay. 
colony projects. Is that what this does? Yep, okay. Tears of Repentance. Many planetary aristocrats have stained themselves with incompetence and lost their titles. A new nobility of chem princes will be created out of subjects who prove capable in sciences and governance. Those who succeed in wisely managing their agri-complex fiefs, strictly maintaining obedience among the commoners and increasing the output of rare organic chemicals will keep their positions. Blocks ultra requ requisitors, blocks suffocacy, increases security by one. We get chemicals and we get provisions. Okay. In the days of the mutiny, many among Janus's pampered nobility fled the planet. They are to be replaced with more enterprising servants, a small but ambitious ultraquisitor syndicate belonging to the Casbala Commission has contacted the rogue trader with a lowly request to entrust the governance of Janus to them. With Vladim Takara pushing all of his competitors out of the cold trade, the Ultraquisitors are hoping to change their line of business and become dignified aristocrats serving House of On Valencius. Profit Factor 1, Complacency 1. Xenotech and Provisions. Starblight is a Drukari weapon. S Drukari sniper rifle, apparently. Don't really need that. Okay. Janus is ailing, and who better to cure it than the sage genitors of the Magos biologists? Management of the agri complexes will be taken away from the aristocrats and handed over to the servants of the Omnisci, who will synchronize their operations for the benefit of the planet. Apex Salium Stimulant grants. 10 bonus to strength, toughness, and agility, and 10 penalty to intellect, perception, and willpower. Okay, we'll get efficiency, and we'll get provisions. Okay. Affects the amount of resources produced by the colony. Increase it by 10% for each point of efficiency. Affects the amount of profit factor produced by the colony, and the speed of projects in the colony. Increasing and decreasing them by 10% for each point of complacency, respectively. So, profit factor increase and 10% decrease in the speed of projects in the colony, okay? Affects the ability of the colony to cope with negative events on its own. Affects the amount of profit factor. Hmm, security, efficiency. I think I want to go with efficiency. One to chemicals, one to provision. One xenotech, one provision, one profit factor. Four provisions. But one efficiency. And let's go with efficiency for now. Okay, so we made that choice and it's opened up a whole ton of things. That's very interesting, okay. The reaping, that does not sound good. Profit factor and provisions requires plasteel and promethium. Secret of the winter scales. Contract available, okay. Interesting. Reward is efficiency. Eye of Joyeuse. Very, very interesting. We finally got into the colony management now, which is nice. You can manage your colonies remotely using the colony management script. Okay, nice. All right, so let's just go back to the bridge. Okay, and now let's go check on now. Uh, shopping again. What's unlocked? Power Claymore. Take it. Explorators. Nothing at the moment. Okay. Chirurgeon's manual. Uh, 
nothing here because uh actually there is some stuff not sure if we can get the six thousand uh reputation though uh bayonet knife when the wielder attacks with any range weapon at a one cell range that attack also inflicts bleeding okay uh we'll take it imperial navy Uh, can we... Do we have anything? No, we don't. Creations... Heretic trophies? No, they want void trophies, okay. Not sure where we're going to pick those up. Okay. Well, that was a pretty good episode. We finally got to our colony management can we take a look at that colony management yep okay how do we can we change colonies i guess we don't have any other colonies so we can't change at the moment so this is going to take a bit of time and that'll unlock our rank two and then yeah it looks like we just go all the way through so seemingly we unlock one, then we un that leads to a second one, then we pick one, and then we just go through down the line that way. So colony management is going to be pretty interesting, I think. And I think we have... We also got uh, two... Well, a second lance weapon for our void ship, so maybe we'll be better off in void ship combat. Instead of having the torpedoes that never actually hit or I just don't know how to use the torpedoes properly but uh yeah so I think this is a good place to uh, end the episode did quite a lot we finally unlocked colony management and we've got Elliot with us permanently so we'll deal with the level ups at the start of the next episode and maybe have a chat with her see what she has to say and yeah, we'll then go forwards to try and find our other um, our other home systems and sort the, sort them out too, like we did on Janus. So thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.